Was that the reaction you were expecting? We're not sure if they were booing us or you. I'll do an experiment for you. Here's me. Here's you. <laughs> Pretty clear. I think you cleared that one up. I'm Michael Griffin. I'm 50 years old, and I'm an escape artist. The escapes actually started when I was about six years old. My brother and I, we had always tied each other with rope. And I could always get out, but he never could. I'm the only human who's ever survived an actual hanging from the back of a horse. Tonight's going to be interesting because I'm going to try an escape that you really can't prepare for. Hey now. What is your name? I'm Michael Griffin, and I am an escape artist. In fact, I've been called America's escape hero. There's a worldwide challenge open to anybody who could tie me up with rope, preventing my escape. And Howard, yes. I would love it if you join me on stage. How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. You know you're annoying me. That's my job. <laughs> I was perfectly comfortable over in that chair, and then you had to get me out of my chair. I'm voting no. He's not going to Vegas. <laughs> Howard, there's 35 feet of rope there. I want you to tie me up any way you like. Use my neck, use my hands, use my feet, anything that you oh, can think of. Hey. How do yeah. I tie this around your mouth? I'm sick of you. <laughs> I've had it with this guy. Baron, I'm out of here. Now, folks, I'd like to introduce Nick. Nick Cannon, would you please come out here? Get over here. Now you're in trouble. Nick ties up Mariah every night, so this is the guy who knows how to tie a knot. Nick is going to be the official timekeeper of this challenge. Howard, do with me what you will. All right, sit down and shut up. Lock your starting. Your neck? Tie his feet to his neck. Tie his neck. Come here. Let's see. Right around the neck again. Look at this guy. Hold Get on. The I ran out of rope, Sarah. <laughs> You've only got it round one hey, hand. Shut up here and get over here. No. 50 seconds. You've only tied one hand, Howard. Get off your ass and do something. Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you, you bark out orders. Just do the hands. Do the hands. It has been. Make it tight. Get my neck. What's with you in the neck? What are you doing? My scarf is caught in his rope. Tighter. Look at you. Oh, yeah. No wonder Ozzy isn't here. He can't take you. Annoying. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what happened? I killed her. Finally, a death on America's Got Talent. <laughs> Howard, if you would please take your seat. I have mine. All right. Good job, Howard. I did well. Nick. Please set your watch back to zero. I'm setting the watch back to zero. Let's go. Go. All right. The thing is, you might be a very talented guy. We didn't get to see that. You had a, a lame-o like me tying you up. I didn't do a great job. And then you got out of it. It was not a big deal. Sharon, go ahead. Yes, you're very dramatic. But you didn't have an expert tying you up. You need right. an expert knot maker. How? You know, as an escape artist, you see people who are submerged in water and like scary things in fire. But I guess your niche is that you get out of nothing. <laughs> All right, we're going to vote. I happen to like you. And you know what that means? I don't know. I'm still going to say no. <laughs> so it's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me, but thank you. It's a no for me. Well, anyway, thank you. Thank All right, you. thank you very much. <laughs>